Fentor here. I um, thought I'd do a very quick video of the regen in the i3, um, what that's all about, but also what to be careful of because um, there are a few myths around regen, and uh, but there are some things one needs to take care of too. So here on the power display, we have um, this little sort of, I don't know, um, swingometer. Let's call it a swingometer, yes. And when to the right, this is when you've got your foot on the accelerator. So that's applying power, battery power to the electric motor. When it goes to the left, it says here charge. Whether you can see on the GoPro, I don't know, but uh, so the more you lift off the accelerator, as you lift off more, it uh, uses the electric motor in reverse to charge the batteries, put some electricity back in, not applying the brakes. So you get this one pedal driving the i3, which is absolutely awesome. And it's horrible going back to a internal combustion engine car, even an automatic, because you have to brake, press that brake pedal all the time. You don't need to do that in the i3. But you do have to be wary of some of the, the things in, in the i3. Particularly, regen just like anti-lock brakes um, will, um, has to be, yeah, be safe. So if you brake too hard on a modern car with anti-lock brakes, the brakes will uh, stop you from skidding or try to. Modern cars have traction control. So in a normal position on the i3 or any car for that matter, normally you can put your foot to the floor and hopefully any wheel spin will be prevented. When it comes to um, the i3 though, it has that unique, not unique, I shouldn't say that. Other car manufacturers have claimed their regen's unique. Nissan, be aware. Um, unique um, to electric vehicles, the ability to use the electric motor as a generator, thereby slowing the progress of the vehicle without having to use the brakes. Great, great thing. However, charging into corners quickly, driving an electric vehicle fast or rapidly, um, and if there's a bump coming into the corner or something slippery, um, the regeneration could be backed, taken back, uh, reduced by the car to stop the wheels from sliding. Being a rear wheel drive car, um, when regenerating, that's been taken from the rear wheels. And those of you familiar with the rally driving, the term handbrake turn, it could be the equivalent of doing a handbrake turn if the regeneration was to be at full power on the slippery road or over some bumps. But as a driver, one needs to be aware of that, especially if you want to put some spirited progress on a twisty road. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm just going to show you, um, we're on a smooth bit of road. Here we are, acceleration. The pointer goes around to the right, as you can, oops, <laughs> turn the windscreen wipers on. Clean the windscreen. And then when we take lift off, you'll see the regen goes completely to the left on this lovely smooth piece of tarmac. This smooth piece of tarmac doesn't last for much longer. Unfortunately for us fen dwellers, the roads are absolutely awful. Do not come on a driving holiday or motorcycling holiday to the fens. It is not a good place. And this is where us poor commuters have to drive on awful bumps. Luckily the i3 suspension is good. Right, so now we're on a bumpy piece. And I'm going to uh, just lift off over some bumps. Now, you notice before the indicator went all the way to the left when I lifted off, we're on these bumps. Let's see what happens. So I'm lifting off now fully, but it's not going all the way to the left. It's it is now, now we're slowing down, but at those higher speeds, it wasn't doing it. Let's try again. So, some 
nasty bumps coming up. Let's lift off. Here we are. I'm lifting off. And there we are. Look. The regen really is backing off quite a bit. It's still regenerating, but nowhere near as much as you'd uh, expect on the smooth road. So the issue being there is if coming up to a sharp corner or something and um, you were to uh, hit a bump going into that corner and you hadn't done all the braking before the corner could be a bit of a surprise so be wary it can be a lot of fun this car to drive but uh, remember to cover or even use the brakes when driving briskly along a twisty road well I hope that was useful and that you could see on your screen the power indicator okay uh, so if you well you probably will in the future um, get an electric vehicle like the i3 and it's something you need to take into account if you are going to be uh, giving it a little bit of extra speed on a twisty road that uh, the regen shuts down when you're not expecting it but it's all for the right reasons finally if you've enjoyed this little video um, please subscribe to my channel um, more videos on i3 motorbikes all sorts of things coming along in the next few months and if you want to know when I've put an update, a new video on, hit the bell button and it will remind you. Thank you very much for watching Fentor. Bye-bye.